She never came back, did she? Guess not. I wonder if she's a cause or an effect. Hmm? As in, do you think Colin's unhappy because she never came back again? If Colin's only, wa only wanted to see her again, I doubt he would have needed to call us. Yeah, so perhaps her absence at the end meant that he was already unhappy by then. Back to square one. This place is destabilizing again. We don't have much time left. Let's move. We have to make do with what we have. Ugh. Ugh. Wait, do we even know what we're doing with him yet? I have a few ideas to try, but we still need to link the mementos first. Let's get back to the overworld and figure things out while we do that. Alright? Oh, alright. Oh god, that had me in tears. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 what? What the heck? Uh, wait just a- Oh god. Not again. In my own way, I always- I will always be there to protect you. <coughs> Ooh, little tadpole Ava. Eva, not Ava. Neil? What's taking you so long? <sighs> this place is falling apart. <sighs> There's no time to wait for him. Okay, okay, okay. Right, right, right. Ah! So, here we need the... Come on. A bit faster, please. Thank you. Uh, I need a paper aeroplane. Well, that was convenient. Woo! I think that's a fast... I think I did that faster than last time. I think that's all of them, but... Oh! Oh, God. Huh? Was that a... Okay, this is getting weird. What is this place? Ah! Oh, hello. <laughs> Are you taking me on an adventure? His memories. They're falling apart. Ah! Over here? But in the blink of an eye, suddenly there's no more time left. And I find myself here, just like everyone else. I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? That's why we are here, Colin. Tell us of your regrets. What is it you want us to fix? Okay. Wait, no. I'm not ready. Call them. But when you go through the procedure. But when you go through the procedure and live that new life. Just hold on to something from here. It's not like that for you. I won't forget about you. Ah! The jellyfish! We only have so little time in this life, and we'd never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there's always, there'll always be other things we want to try, other paths to take. Ah, no, 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 no! 
<laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay. Shit, 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 shit. Did it spill on your dress? <laughs> hey, just one more excuse to jump into the lagoon. You know, we don't have to waste all that lemon juice. Have you ever tried writing with it? Lemon juice? No. Why? <laughs> then prepare to be mind blown by my, some elementary school magic. Get this, it's invisible ink. Invisible ink? Yep, the writing appears in color only when you heat the paper up. Come on, I'll show you. Let's write something with it. It's been a while since I've written. Well, never too late to start again. How about a letter? To who? Each other, of course. We could write about this trip. It's been kind of a journey, hasn't it? And at the end of it, we c could show each other what we wrote of it all. That's cute. Why was this not part of the memory earlier? Was Faye trying to block it out? Ah! Hello. Why would you even consider? Why would you toss aside everything we have for something make-believe? I'm not tossing anything aside. Well now what? We all have regrets, be it right, be it writing a wrong or a dream long past. Has Sigmund Core, we give you a second chance to make things right. Because with our help, it's never too late. Wait, these don't seem just like randomly scattered memories. Could it be that the sedatives are wearing off? Yes, okay, come on. There is a baby. You are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. You're no longer aloof, you know? When you're here, you're actually here. Oh, pardon me, gosh. I know it's mesmerizing here. Faye spoke after a pause, shifting her gaze back up to the sky. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is and what all that could be? I see. So he wrote Faye where... Okay, look, I got it. I got your message, you hear me? I know you're still here. You can come and get me now. Hello? Damn it. I really thought it was her. Ooh. Uh, wait. Is that the only re really the only way to... Oh, there you go. Bye, Neil. Oh. <laughs> Where the hey have you been? I figured out. I figured it out, Eva. I figured out the impossible. I mean, it took an unholy amount of spoon feeding, but I guess that's what it takes when we're on the inside of it. What are you talking about? Yes, just what are you talking about? Oh, hello. The sedative. It wore off already? You don't sound too happy about it. We're here to help Colin. And you're, a men you're the mental process that's in the way. Well, lucky for you, that can be arranged now. Can't it? So, looks like we're about out of time. If you're going to erase me for good, you might as well hurry. No, we're not going to erase you. We're going to erase us. Wait, what? Colin never needed our service, Eva. He already had her. 
the ability to change his reality, to live in a different world. One that filled the gaps of what he wanted all in his head. She is what we do, Eva. And yet, she left. She left, which could have only meant one thing. What you're trying- what- what you're trying to imply- <laughs> No, that can't be right. What we do is different from just this. How is it different? We- because there's more to it. There's more to what we do. Ow, I just kicked my drawers. We fulfill wishes. We give meaning to people's lives. What we do, it has to be more than just that of an imaginary friend. It's a lot more elaborate for sure. But for someone who had to fight just to go, let go of fantasy and embrace reality, maybe our existence was merely an unwelcomed amplifier. A reminder of the make-believe imaginary. And the endless possibilities that make reality seem less than what it is. Hey, you two, things aren't looking good with the patient. I don't know what you're up to, but you might want to get out of there. And by might wanna, I mean need to. <laughs> After all that, huh? I guess none of this even matters anymore. There's no way we'd still have the time to implement any actual changes. No, we might not have the time. But what about her? What makes you so confident that she'll help us? That's a question. She's already linked to the machine's interface, right? Without us, all procedures would be internalized. So much could be done in a fraction of a moment. You're suggesting giving sole control of the machine to a mental process of the patient? The ethical implications of that... It hasn't been done for good reasons. It hasn't been done because no patient has had a chance like this. Besides, what's our alternative? Just leave and market this as a write-off? But what about legal complications and the contract? It says... Oh, come on, Eva. When has the contract stopped us? <laughs> Yikes. Uh, guys. <laughs> Go on. I'll be right behind. Don't say I never trust you. Bye. Why are you doing this for us? Well, if I were Colin and on my last breath, I'd trust you over two strangers in white coats, right? Strangers, huh? Your colleague was right about one thing. There is more to what you do than just playing God with people's memories. You've been here for just one day and yet, in all of his lifetime, no one else has truly seen the world through his eyes like you have. And, well, you're kind of the first I've been able to meet, too. In some silly way, maybe that's a part of what Colin really wished for. It wasn't- it was one heck of a meet and greet, that's for sure. <laughs> Full admin access transferred to unknown cred credential Faye. You gonna be alright? Just a little nervous, I guess. Well, given the circumstance, I say that's pretty alright. Oh, come on, get a move on! Hey, sorry for trying to kill you. <laughs> Don't, do you think that in some ways I truly existed? Well, that's, f well, for what it's worth. I think all of our memories and everything in it can be nothing but the fiction we tell ourselves. Good luck out there. Colin's counting on you. Boy! Oh, I can't see. Ah, shit. Come on! Go! Oh, look at all the 
Collins. They saw many. I'm trying to position my mic so that it's not like covering the screen. And he's up. They're both up. His blood pressure is dropping. Vital signs are fading fast. I think he's letting go. I'm sorry for your loss. Please take all the time you need. I'll be in the living room with the paperwork. When they're ready, I'll let them know. They need a moment. Are we going to talk to Neil then? Hello. Always a little stuck, isn't it? Seeing it like this after just having been in there. Nah, that's what it is what it is. I'm just a little cold. It felt warmer in there. What we did back there, do you know if it worked? Hard to say. I'll try to dig through the data afterwards, but... Oh my god, my eye is itching. Well, it's never been done like this before. I don't know how coherent it'd be. Guess we got another mess of a report to write. We can take care of that when the dust settles. In the meantime, I just remembered something. Come on, let's go do it. So, did you succeed? There was a complication. We tried to cope with something unorthodox, but I'm not sure if we'll ever know what really happened in those last moments. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Sophia said you got a lighter? Uh, yeah. Yoink. Stop running, Neil. You're in the house. Apartment. Whatever. What's it say? What's it say? What's it say? <laughs> well, that's bleak. It worked, I assume. He never stood up very tall. I think my voice was fairly small. But there were times I'd want to shout, though my thoughts weren't sorted out. So I'd stumble and I'd fall. Trading by yesterday. Hey, hey, hey. Was 
Like I'm bursting at the seams, and you're here after all. All the grass on the other side. Is it only green? You're in my mind. I'd still want it the same because trading. That was emotional. <coughs> yes, I did start crying. For those of you wondering. Uh, happened too soon. Whew, that was a. Whew, that was a thing. She is looking for something, old timer. Oh. It's been a while, huh? A long while. You haven't changed much. And whose fault is that now? Listen, I wish it were under better circumstances, but I know. I wish I still had the time to tell you about all that's happened since then. It's okay, I was there. I'm only here to say goodbye. Just tell me one thing though. Do you still have any regrets? Regrets? Yeah, I have a lot of those. But, that's okay. The chances I missed, the mishaps and all that I wish I had, well, they were still a part of it. They made a way for all that I do have. And what do I have? I wouldn't, and what I do have? I wouldn't trade for anything else in the world. That's all I wish to hear. Oh, he going? <laughs> Go on. They're waiting for you. <laughs> it's time to go home. <coughs> Hello.
Hey, Colin. Sorry I had to leave back then. Thank you for having been there, even when nobody else was. Ugh. She's gone. At least you got to see her again. I can't tell where the mic is. Ugh. So, in his head, is he gonna, like, die peacefully in his sleep next to her? Oh! Parallels! They hurt! Oh, just knocking. <coughs> Hello? Oh, and the credits. I'll let those roll. Oh, that's so... <laughs> it's such a beautiful game. It really, really is. <sighs> ah, the funeral. What's up? Where are you? Uh, my scotch? Drinking home. <laughs> you said you'd be here. I said I'd visit, like we always do, not attend a funeral. When was the last time we even did that? I know, but I just thought we owe it to him after... Dr. Roslyn, we're about to start. Go on, I'll get some... I'll get my turn. <sighs> Neil, what are you doing? Oh, that's... That was loud. <sighs> All right, enjoy your scotch. You know it. So now what are you doing? Now, where were we? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Ooh, not looking sketchy at all, Neil. I asked you to knock, not hack my lock. Switching to digital was a terrible idea. Why didn't you just keep both locks on? <laughs> Dag nabbit, Rob. I don't know why you even got you involved. Look, we don't have long. Are you guys still in or not? You betcha. 
So, is that the solution you were talking about? Yeah, that's her. What have you done? Did you keep, like, Faye? Did you keep Faye on, like, a disc? Oh, what's going on? Oh, look at all the games we've played. So that is very um, suggestive that there's going to be another game at some point. Thank you for having been a part. Oh, it's okay. It's such a good game. Oh, I love these games so much. But I really... Uh, I want to know. I want to know what the heck any of that was. What's up with Neil's headaches? What's he doing to the machine? What he's doing with maybe Faye? <sighs> I really hope we get to find out. I hope he makes another game soon. It'll be absolutely incredible. They're such incredible games and they're so beautiful. I honestly can't get enough of them. Like even the Mirror Lied, which isn't a part of um, like To the Moon and Finding Paradise, that kind of universe. It's still such a really, really beautifully done game. And I, I love all, like, Freebird games. If I can find any more, I'll definitely play them. Um, so I yeah, ended up going way over time, so I just kind of kept rolling. But uh, now I have to find something else to play on Saturdays. Because that's the end of all the To The Moon games that I can find so far. But yeah, I've really enjoyed it. I absolutely love them so, so much. But uh, in the meantime, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for the next episode of Undertale while I figure out what I'm going to play on Saturdays from now on. So yeah, bye bye. <laughs>